hello friends in this video we are going to look at the usage of a comparable interface so this comparable interface is useful to define a natural sorting order for the custom classes so here in this video we are going to look at a java comparable interface in the previous example we used the integer object in the tree set so we saw how to add integer element to the tree set we also saw how the uh, integers are automatically sorted regardless of the in session order using the add method since it already implemented a comparable interface we saw the sorted integers in the tree set because the integers is a java's class and java sdk already implemented a comparable interface with the integers object so the when we add the integers to the tree set uh, it becomes a sorted for user defined classes we need to implement a comparable interface to define the natural sorting order well, because it's a comparison right so if we have two product class or two complex number class which has a real part and imaginary part and if you want to compare those two object we need to define how to compare those two objects so first we need to implement the comparable interface then we should implement the method offered by that comparable interface we can define this natural sorting order by implementing the compare to method of the comparable interface so in this example uh, previously we took um, integer right for uh, using it as a element in the tree set so this time we will take our product class then we will implement the comparable interface that means we will write a function compare to method so that will tell how two product can be compared so the comparable interface exposes only one method and the method name is a compare to beside is the method signature so the compare to method takes a parameter e e stands for element in the collection and the reference is o so this method is called by the java framework and each time when it is calling this compare to method it will supply one element from the underlying collection all right so java will call the method compare to and who will implement this method compare to so we will implement this method compare to for our custom class and this method is called by the java framework i mean the java collection framework so the method should return an integer value so as i already told java will call this method so supplying the parameter is taken care by the java framework but what needs to be returned it should be taken care by us why because we are implementing this compare to method even though java supplies the parameter we have to use that parameter and we should decide what integer we have to return so this compare to method is for sorting the object right to define the order we have we are implementing this compare to method now if you see when we want to uh, order the elements then there are three notations one is the element already exist that means we will not place the element in the order itself for any new incoming element so when the method returns positive the element is placed towards the right of the parameter o so there is a new incoming element so that will be the calling object mostly i mean 
that must be this the calling object so when this method returns positive we will place the object who i mean the calling object next to the element who so if the method returns negative we will place this object before the uh, collection object who so that's what here indicated in the arrow so let us say the element o is staying at uh, some particular position so the vertical line you can imagine it as a position of o so when the method returns zero both elements are equal uh, that means the calling element as well as the uh, the element in the collection both are equal so so no ordering is required and the insertion of new element is skipped why because the tree set does not allow duplicate value now if the element is positive we will move it towards right hand side and if it is negative we will move it towards left hand side so that means right hand side in the sense uh, right to the element in the collection or left to the element in the collection so that is decided by this positive and negative value this method compares element o in the collection so as i already told the element o is in the collection with the calling object so somebody will call this compare method right so that calling object is compared with element o that means here the calling object also an element e so if we store complex number in a tree set the incoming parameter is a complex number and calling object also a complex number so for example let us say the um, the element here is integer 1 2 3 6 9 that is stored in a tree set so 7 is the element we want to add so in this case java will make a call to the compare method when it is making a call to compare method the parameter o is taken from the existing collection that means when it is calling the compare to method each time it will pick an element in the collection then it will pass that as a parameter here so if it called this method three times then o will be first time it will be one second time it will be two and third time it will be three so as i already told seven is the one we want to insert right so what we will do to insert an element into the tree set we will make a call to add method and to the add method we will pass parameter seven so the implementation of add method will go like this so it will take the incoming parameter 7 then it will make a call to the compare to method which we will implement and pass the parameter 1 2 3 6 like that from the existing collection so the calling object is 7 and the parameter is picked from the existing collection when the method returns 0 the collection element o equals the calling object so that means the element will be ignored so it will not be added when the method returns positive the calling object should move towards the right of o that is placed after o so let us say here we are adding the element 7 so what happens the element 7 is the calling object that means it it is known as this reference inside our compare to method so 7 is compared to 1 and if you look at the return statement here this dot prod id that means that is 7 the element dot get prod id so in the previous statement the uh, object incoming uh, reference is a type casted to product and that is stored in a reference called element so this dot product id means a 7 minus element dot get product id 1 7 minus 1 is positive so that's what our method returns here right the return statement if you look at this dot product id 7 minus element dot get product id which will be 1 7 minus 1 is a 6 positive 6 so since the method returns positive 
the new element server should move towards the parameter o here o is 1 so it should move towards right that means 7 should be placed after 1 so that's what this method is telling but the comparison won't stop here it will once again compare 7 minus 2 positive 7 will move towards the right of 2 7 minus 3 positive 7 will move towards right of 3 7 minus 6 positive 7 will move towards right of 6 7 minus 9 is negative now it should move towards left of the 9 so far it moved towards right now the method returns asking to move it towards the left so now the uh, add method will decide the position since it's a switching right so so far it moved towards right now the method is asking it to move towards left that means stay wherever you are that means since it moved till 6 towards right of 6 now the new incoming I mean the existing element 9 is stating that don't get past me that means stay uh, before me that means 7 will stay before 9 so we decided the position and 7 will stay here so this is done through this uh, compare to method and now you know the significance of positive and negative right so that's what here so when the method returns negative the calling object should move towards the left of o so if you see here when 7 is compared with 9 it returned negative well, because this dot prod id is 7 7 minus 9 equal to minus 2 so since the return result is negative we should move towards left of the element 9 all right let us explore the compare to method and comparable interface of java in eclipse so here is our uh, product class which has the implementation for hash code override and equals method override and there are some getter and setter method these are the getter and setter and there is one uh, string two string override and it has only two member prod id and prod name and those are all initialized by the constructor now if you go to our reset comparable so first we implemented the required uh, packages so the required package is util and the iterator is here so we implement so we imported the iterator interface then we have the sorted set so this is also an interface then reset is the implementation class all right so here is our uh, main class and in that we define the public static void main so first we are creating the tree set implementation class and that is pointed by the sorted set then we add some uh, i mean we create some sample product previously we added integer right in our tree set so this time we are adding the product class so the difference is the integer is implemented by the uh, java sdk itself so it's not a user defined class it's a class given by java sdk so that integer class already implemented the comparable interface so when we start uh, when we start adding the integer to the collection it automatically gets sorted in a natural sorting order here we created six product then we are attempting to add all these six product and if you see we are uh, adding it in a different in session order and our goal is to see this get sorted uh, in a natural sorting order so here is that reset print tree so it will iterate over our tree set using the iterator and it will print each element during the iteration so here is the iteration it will print the element during each iteration now let us try and see now it will throw an error and we will see what it is first
so first we create our object then we create six products then we try to add the product since this is a tree set it needs to know how to compare the compare to object here the very first addition itself fails if you see here it throws an exception and the exception is a class cast exception so it is expecting a comparable interface on the product class so we don't have a comparable interface uh, which means the product doesn't implement a comparable interface so that's the error so it states that i don't know how to compare this a uh, product class so even though we doesn't uh, so the collection at present it is empty when we are adding it so there is nothing to compare here but still java throws that error just by identifying this the element we are trying to add doesn't have the implementation of a compare to method that means it doesn't implement comparable interface now first we will implement the comparable interface so all we need to do is we have to place implement comparable so we are changing the product class definition here It should implement the comparable interface so so once i place that i got a error right so why because it states that so you said that you want to implement comparable interface but compared to method is not defined here so that's what that the error means so you can see here it states that the type of product must implement the inherited abstract method comparable dot compare to so the com as already told in the slide this comparable interface defines only one method called compare to and this product class should implement implement that method to satisfy the contract of a comparable interface so all we can do is I just click here and click on add an implemented method so once I double click it it placed the override compared to So that's all we implemented our uh, compare to method and this will keep the element in a natural sorting order so we already explained that in the slide here if you see we are casting this object incoming object o to product so because here we are implementing it for product class and when java is making call definitely it will send the product instance so we are casting it to product and we are placing the reference in the element then we are making call to this dot prod id so we already told what is mean by this it is a calling object and element dot get product id so that means this is the one which is already in the collection so now these two statement will define the sorting order for us so if the incoming element is one and the element that already exists in the collection is a zero the incoming element will be placed next to that zero so this just this just this statement tells us that the sorting will be natural sorting order because 
we assumed the existing element as 0 and the incoming element will go next to it right 1 minus 0 is positive that means it goes towards right so if it goes towards right then 0 1 so this tells us that we are we have written this function so that the elements will be placed in a natural sorting order all right now we will run the code once again and we'll see how it works and if you see we are just sorting it based on product id only not the product name if you want to sort it based on product name instead of using product id you can use the product name all right now we created the set we'll place a cursor here first we created six object this time we are going to add object p2 is one or two pencil that will get added next we are adding p4 so one not four is greater than one not two so it will go next to two pencil next to p1 so the id is one not one so it should just go before one not two because it returns negative so it moves towards left the same way others are ordered so here we are adding all the product and if you see here the result is in the natural sorting order based on product id right it's not based on the product name why because our compare to method is comparing it based on the product id this dot product id and get product id so based on this we sorted based on this we sorted our uh, element here element is uh, product all right that's all in this video thanks for uh, watching so if you like the channel subscribe it bye